All right, so this is the new version of Scratch and the new version of Remix as Dance. So um, I've updated the template we're going to use, and we have some new uh, dancer bodies on here than projects we've done in the past. What's nice is that we have more customization than ever before. So in order to start this project, you're going to open up the Remix as Dance template that I give you, and you're going to, um, by clicking the Remix button, it makes a copy of this, and now you can customize your own version. So for this project, when we click left, right, up, and down, the two dancers, the two characters um, move differently. So on the left, we have Raheem, and his head moves from left to right. And then on the other character, we have a question mark, and that's where you're going to put your face. So you see we have four sprites here, Raheem's head, Raheem's body, and then the question mark, which will be where your face goes, and then your body. So when you click on the sprite for your face, you'll see this is the code for your face to um, animate it and have it do the different things and control it. So we can adjust those later. For now, we want to click on costumes. So I'm going to hover over the choose a costume and click the camera, and you have to make sure your camera is allowed. So there I am. And I'm going to take a picture from the side because I'm going to do my left and then my right. I'm going to flip the picture then. So I'm going to look to the side and I'm going to move my cursor to take a photo. And I'm going to hit save. Now, there's something that has changed in Scratch. If you are familiar with the magic wand tool, it does not exist anymore, which kind of totally stinks. So I highly recommend that you use an external mouse for this because you're going to need some uh, fine motor control here. And you're going to use the eraser tool. And we're basically going to erase away the background. So I would suggest you start with making your wand pretty large. And I can kind of preview over here and see how this is looking. Um, you can zoom in so you can get more control over your erasing. Okay, we're going to pretend like that is, that's good. It's, it's not great, but we're going to pretend like it is. Um, all right, so what I can do first of all is I need to change the size of this. It's quite large, so you see where it says size 60. I can um, bring that down to whatever. So let's do 40. Okay, not bad. So I can see the head here size-wise, fairly decent, kind of large compared to Raheem, but whatever. All right, so now that I have a um, sprite, a costume with my face on it that I'm decently happy with, um, one thing I recommend that you do is you go in and you name it. So I'm going to name this one left because I'm facing to the left. It's going to make your life a little bit easier later on. I'm going to right click on this and hit duplicate. And when I duplicate this, it's going to call it left two. But I'm going to hit the flip horizontal button because now all of a sudden, look, I'm looking to the right. So I can name this right. And now I immediately have a left and a right um, costume. And I can go into the code and I can certainly tell it when left arrow key is pressed show left, when right arrow key is pressed, show right. Now, it might not actually be in the right place, but I can adjust that later. But you see left, right, left, right, left, right. Um, I can go in and certainly adjust my X and Y to make it location, um, make the location a little bit better. So I can actually click and drag on this and say, I like this placement right here. It's 110, 115. So I can go in here and I can type in 110, 115, or you see it already changed here. So I can say, all right, 110, 115. Let's uh, drop that in there. Let's hit the right key button. Let's move it over here. Um, 187, 119. Look at that. We'll just swap out these blocks. Blah, blah, blah. I am dancing with Raheem. That's great. Now I do need to go into the costumes now. I can delete my placeholder. And then I need to go in and add, using my camera, one where I'm looking um, up or forward, or I don't know, make one weird face and then make one for down that's like another weird face, um, whatever you want to do, but you have to make those other two manually. So you're actually making three um, costumes, one for sideways that you can flip, and then one for up and down, um, but it's better than having to make four. So definitely use an external mouse because trying to do this with the trackpad is very frustrating. So um, that's a quick review on how you would go in and add your face as um, costumes on your sprite and uh, enjoy, have fun, do good work.